Ross from East River Pilates and I'm here with Well and Good. Today we've created a 30 minute resistance band workout for you to do anywhere, anytime. Let's get started. We're going to start off with some squats and we're going to step our feet into the band. Bring your feet into the band and move it up so it's sitting about an inch or two above your knees. There's bands that are going to be thicker and a little bit lighter so you can make things harder and easier for yourself and you can do this whole workout without a band, it's just not going to be quite as hard. So let's place those feet in underneath your hips. Soften a little through the knees, and then we're gonna start off bringing the hands to the hips. Breathing in to prepare, and when you breathe out, relax your shoulders and feel yourself lift up through the pelvic floor and draw in through your deep abdominals, cinching in around your waist. Relax the arms by the side. As we breathe in, we're gonna reach the bottom back, gonna reach the hands out away from you coming into your first squat, and then breathe out to squeeze your glutes and come back to the top. Breathe in to reach, fingertips forward, bottom back. Breathe out to squeeze back up to the top. As we work through your squat, be nice and long with those fingers. Reach the fingertips out away from you, reach your sit bones back behind you. Those knees are pushing out into the band. You should feel that adds a bit of extra work in through the glute med, muscle that sits around the side and back of your hips and your pelvis. Bring those hands to your hips, come down into your squat and you're gonna hold. Feel that the ribs and the belly are in. And then we're gonna shift your weight just slightly onto one leg. From here, step your right foot out to the side, tap it back in and then tap it back. As we come in, Breathe out to push out, breathe in to come in, and breathe out to push back. So think about staying really nice and steady on this left hip. Keeping the body nice and vertical, nice and still. And you're soon gonna feel that that quad, that glute, and your core is keeping you nice and still and steady. As we work through just one more on this side, focus on keeping that left knee out to the left and hold. Shift the weight slightly to the right leg and we're gonna repeat five over on the other side. So that left leg is gonna step out to the side, tap back on in, breathe out and push that leg back. Focus on keeping this right knee forward or just slightly out to the right as you extend and move around that left hip. Feel yourself keep pushing your bottom back in space, keep drawing your core right on in, nice and still and steady through the body. And we've got one more on this left side. Come back on in, hold, come into that squat. Holding that squat as you breathe out, push your knees out into the band, breathe in and release. Breathe out, push your knees out to that band, breathe in, release. As you work, think about spiraling out from the hips. Squeeze those glutes in the back of the hips and pelvis. Keep extending your sits bones and your tailbone back behind you. Keep drawing in through the core. As we work through, we're gonna take just another three and two and one. Push those knees out, hold those knees out, reach those arms out away from you. Create the longest line from your fingertips back to your sits bones. Push those knees out to the band and we're gonna pulse up and down. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And then squeeze your glutes, come to the top, give those legs a little bit of a shake out there. So take a step back, come down to the back of the mat. Roll those shoulders out. And let's roll down, chin comes to chest. Let the shoulders come forward, curl around through the back, stretching down through the backs of the legs. Start to turn your core on a little, and then we're gonna walk out to your first plank here. So your hands are straight in underneath your shoulders. Spread the hands and make the hands nice and big. And feel yourself squeeze through your inner thigh muscles, squeeze through your glutes and engage through your deep abdominals. We're going to step your left foot out to the left, bring it back on into plank and then swap over to the other side. Smooth and steady with your breathing and keep thinking of lifting up through the chest. As you come in, Try not to let yourself lose too much resistance on the band. Try and keep that pelvis nice and still and steady. Breathing out to push out. I'm gonna take one more on each side. And then hold. 
If you're feeling a little stronger today, hold, otherwise take a quick rest and join back in with us in a moment. Lengthen up through the back of the neck, keep the chest nice and lifted, and then we're gonna lift one straight leg up behind. Pressing into the band with the back of the knee, the back of the thigh, and bring that leg back down again. Breathe out to lift that leg up. Breathe in, it comes down. Every time that you breathe out, you give yourself the chance to draw in and tighten up around the waist just that little bit more. Taking one more on each side. And then let's push up to down dog. Press up through the hands, send your tailbone up nice and high, and then give those legs a little bit of a walk from side to side, shaking those legs on out. We're gonna float back to plank again. Lift through your heels, come forward with your hips, settle those shoulders out over the top of the wrists. Think about the crown of the head reaching forward, the heels reaching back, and lifting up through the core in the middle. Smooth and steady with your breathing. And then we're gonna bring one knee in, the other knee in, and we're coming into four point kneel. So again, hands are nice and big, hands straight underneath your shoulders. Lift your collarbones away from the thumbs below and then lift up through your sits bones and extend through the back of the sacrum. Engage your core through the middle of the body, tuck those toes under behind and we're going to lift up to hover on your next breath out. Coming to hover and hold, we're going to continue to stay steady with the pelvis. Take a tiny little step up with one leg. Take that leg back down and swap to the other side. Feel yourself using the strength underneath your shoulder blades and around your waist to stay strong and steady as we walk through from side to side. Tighten up a little more through your core as we take four and three. Taking two and one. Hold your hover, extend that body, let your knees come in and take a quick child's pose. Bottom comes back, give those shoulders a little bit of a shimmy out, shake them on out and then lift yourself back up to four point kneel position again. So the arms are gonna stay still. Lift through the chest, shoulders away from your ears, tighten up through the core and you're gonna stretch one leg, your right leg, back out and away from you. Have just that toe tip resting on the floor be strong through the upper body, and that left leg is gonna lift up nice and straight, and then float back down. Stay on the same side as we lift that leg up and down. Option to point the toe, or flex that ankle at the back. Press out of the knuckles of your hands to keep your chest nice and lifted, to stay nice and tight through the core. And we're gonna take just another three. Another two. Another one, hold it up, feel yourself working through both glutes, and then you're gonna stabilize through your right hand, your left knee, reach your left hand right out away from you, be long and hold it, lift everything away from the floor and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that arm down, bring that leg back on in, a quick little shake, but we're gonna come straight over to the other side. So extend your left leg back. Point the toes on that back leg to start, Feel yourself lift up through the chest, collarbones away from those hands below. Your ribs are in, your belly's tight, float that leg up off the ground below, behind you. And then we're gonna tap down. We're coming through 10. Keep yourself drawing up through the ribs. Nice and strong around your waist. And continue to push out of those knuckles and lengthen through the back of the neck. Coming through your final five, four, Three, squeeze through your right glute to keep nice and in line. Lift up, hold up, stay up, and then extend your right arm out and away from you. Lift everything away from the floor. Squeeze through your right glute, push through your left hand. Lift your chest away from the floor. We're holding three, two, one. Bring that arm back on down again. And again from here, we can just take a quick child's pose and stretch out through the hips and through the shoulders. From here, let's come forward. We're gonna come down and into a side series. So lying down onto your right arm, bring your top hand up to your top hip. Knees and feet are stacked. 
Roll your top hip forward so that your top hip is directly on top of the one below. This means that we're going to work harder through that glute once we get going. Ribs and belly are activated, lifting up through the waist below as you float your top leg off the leg below. So before we start to move, feel that you can work the bottom glute around your waist and core and into that left glute as well. This top leg is just going to float down an inch and then push up into the resistance of the band. The knee and the foot push up equally as you stretch the band away from the knee below. Breathing out as you come up. I'm going to take another five. Taking four. Check that your shoulders are relaxed. And then on your final one here, lift up, hold up, and then push that heel out away from you, stretch that leg out straight. To start with, we're gonna stretch the band up as we take the leg up towards the roof. Squeeze through that outer edge of that hip to push the straight leg up into the band. And as you do, focusing in that you're feeling that work in the hip, in that glute, and that your pelvis and your waist are nice and steady. If you feel this work on the bottom side as well, that's okay. It's working to stabilize and hold that band down. We're going to take just another three here. And two. And one. We're not done yet. That leg is lifted and it's going to go back to the wall behind you. So push your heel back, squeezing into glute max, the meatiest part of your bottom. And then let it float forward, but don't let it come down. Squeeze the glute, extending at the hip to bring it back and float that leg forward. As that leg comes backwards and forwards, trying to keep your spine nice and neutral, not letting yourself change or shift your shape through the middle. Try and keep that leg up at hip height and we're coming through five. You should be feeling in that glute. You should be wanting to let that leg go. That glute is singing out to you at the moment. And we're taking just another two, another one, and hold it up. Challenge yourself, push that leg away from you. This top hand's gonna come down to the floor in front, straighten out that bottom leg below, bring the body into a slight little dish shape, and then we're going to bring the bottom leg up towards the leg below and come back down. Your top leg is staying up, we're working a little bit through the inner thighs to squeeze those legs together and lower the bottom leg only down. Relax the shoulders, use the hand as much or as little as you need up on the top there. We're gonna come through another five and four, breathing out as those legs squeeze together. And three and two, final one. Hold those legs up together, float them on down together, bend them on in. Give that quote a tap, give yourself a little bit of love there, and then we're going to push yourself up and onto your side. So coming onto your side, we've got your right elbow right in underneath your right shoulder. Your top hands coming up to your top hip, and we're gonna push your hips forward towards the wall in front. Feel that on this bottom side, you're squeezing in underneath that underarm, under the shoulder blade, like you're trying to pull that elbow towards your bottom knee. Option to hold or to make it a little bit more difficult, squeeze those heels together and bring the top knee off the knee below, coming into a clam. Lower that knee, that knee down and then squeeze at the back of the glute to bring that knee up. As we keep working through that top glute, keep lifting through the bottom side as well. Feel yourself lifting through the ribs, through the waist, through the hip on that bottom side. Breathe out to squeeze. Breathe in to come down. Breathe out to squeeze. Breathe in to come down. We're going to work through another five. Draw the ribs in at the front of the body, belly nice and tight, long through the neck, and take your final three, and two, and one. Hold it, squeeze it, lift everything long, stretch out through the crown of the head. Three, two, one, bring the knees down, bring the feet down, and let's counter stretch that. So bring the top hand up and over, lengthening through that right side of the body. Bring yourself back around. With your legs out in front of you, bring that knee up to the opposite foot, stretch into a little figure four. 
holding this stretch and you're up to 20 to 30 seconds or until you feel like the glutes released up a little and we'll change it to the other side opening up through your hip you're going to feel that on the back of that left glute letting that leg come back down again switch those legs over to the other side and let yourself lower right down and onto your left side so top hand comes to your top hip, knees and feet are stacked. Quick moment to set up your neutral spine, shoulders away from your ears, ribs and waist lifting a little from below. Roll that top hip forward so you're directly stacked on top of that hip below. We're gonna float that top leg up and into the resistance of the band, feeling that the bottom side might be working. That top glute should be starting to fire up, your core is active. Lower that top leg down. And then squeeze through the glutes in the side and the back of that hip to lift that leg back up and into the resistance of the band. Smooth and steady with your breathing. Breathing out when you bring that knee up. And we're coming through four. And three. Two. And one. You've got this. Hold that leg up. Then push the leg out away from you. Stretch that heel out away. Push the toes back towards you. And then we're coming up and into the band. That leg gets a little bit higher and floats back down. Squeeze through the side and the back of the hip. And don't let that bottom side of the waist drop on down. Feel how tight your core is working for you there. The leg pushes up and squeezes into the band. It should be starting to sing out through that glute for you now. We're going to take another four. Smooth and steady with the breathing. Last one, hold it up. And then we've got a little bit more. You're gonna push that heel back behind you and let that leg float forward, but don't drop it down. Squeeze that glute, push that leg back behind you and let that leg come back again. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Try and work into that burn that's coming into your glute. I can definitely feel it in mine. We're going to be taking another five, holding the leg nice and high, and four. Breathe out to push the heel back, work into that glute max, that strong, meatier part of your bottom, and then push it back, hold it back, and hold five, four, three, two, one, and let that leg come on down. Give it a quick bit of love, and then push yourself up and into that side plank. So in our side plank, on our elbow and on our knees, this bottom shoulder is away from our ears, lifting and creating space under that bottom side of the neck. Squeeze in through your left underarm. Top hand to your hip and push your hips forward and up. Feeling yourself push your bottom knee down into the floor. Squeeze your elbow towards that knee and then we come into your clam inside plank. Squeeze your heels together, lift your top knee up and lower that knee back down. Breathe out as you squeeze the heels together. Imagine you're squeezing $100 between your heels. Don't let it go. Float that top knee off the knee below and keep lifting through that bottom side of your waist. We're drawing that bottom elbow towards your hip, towards that bottom knee, and we're coming through four. And three. Breathing through it. And last one, lift up, hold up, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back down. Release, give those knees a little bit of a spread apart and come into that mermaid the other way. Lengthening through that side body, releasing back. And let's take that figure four stretch again. So bring that left foot to the right knee, press the knee wide, opening up through the hip and stretching those external rotators of your hip. Holding here for about 15 to 20 seconds, letting your breathing come down, giving yourself a quick little break. And then we'll come over to the other side. So again, one foot to the knee, press the knee wide and open up through the chest, open up through those hips. Let your breathing slow down. Let yourself breathe into your belly. When you're breathing out, relaxing your shoulders out away from your ears. And then I think it's time to keep going. So let's place those feet down onto the mat. Let's roll yourself down and onto your back. Hands are starting off down by your side. 
Tuck the tail under into a posterior pelvic tilt, feeling yourself draw up through the pelvic floor, draw in through those deep abdominal muscles. And keep that little scoop as you lift through the hips, pushing up into your first bridge here. So as we go through the bridge, remembering we should never feel any discomfort in our low back. If we are, we can drop our bridge a bit lower and tuck, focus on tucking on under so we stay nice and neutral and we don't get too arched in through our low back. So from here, as you hold your bridge, really ground your feet down into the mat. Think about pulling your heels back towards your shoulders. As you breathe out, push your knees both out into that band. Breathe in to come in. And as we work through here, pushing equally with both sides. Noticing within your body if one side doesn't want to push as hard as the other and try and make them nice and symmetrical. And also noticing in your body if that pelvis, pelvic position wants to change as you're externally rotating and abducting those hips. We're going to work through another four. Breathing out to push out three. Taking two. And one. Push those knees out. Keep a moderate amount of pressure onto the band. Lift your hands up and reach to the sky. Breathing in to prepare and breathing out just five. We're going to take our hands out overhead. As those arms come overhead, not letting the rib cage flare up. Keeping the ribs in, belly tight. Bottom is squeezing. Reaching overhead, lengthening out of the shoulders, out of the fingertips. And then hold those arms reaching to the sky. Breathe in to dip the hips halfway down. Breathe out to push up into the bridge. Squeezing through your glutes, pressing your feet down into the floor and keeping a moderate to heavy resistance out into that band. So we're still working that glute med, the muscle that gives us lots of stability around our hip and pelvis. And we're also working our glute max that gives us good hip extension and helps us keeping moving forward. Take one more, hold up, stay up. So the most difficult, hands can be up to make this a bit easier, your arms can be down by your side. And you're gonna push one knee out into the band, bring that knee back in, and then alternate over out to the other side. When one knee is moving, don't let the other leg go anywhere. Breathe out to push out, breathe in to come in. Keep that pelvis tucked under, Keep yourselves nice and neutral so we have a subtle little arch in the low back only. Breathe out to push out. And you can keep that going here or we can have the arms up at the roof. And as we work towards the end of this glute series here, let's make that a little bit more difficult. So just reset for a moment. If you need to drop the ribs, tuck the tail, you can do that. Press the feet into the floor. And your opposite knee and your opposite arm are gonna move away from the midline. So your left knee pushes into the band as your right arm reaches out away from you. Bring them both back up to the middle and then change over to the other side. You're going to go only as far as you can before you feel that your spine, your pelvis, or your rib cage want to twist. We're gonna take three more on each side. Breathing through it, try and press those hips to the heart, sky, keep them nice and high and nice and steady. You've got one more on each side. Those glutes should be letting you know about it by now. They should be telling you that they're ready for a rest. You've got your final one. Bring everything back on in. We're going to roll on down one vertebrae at a time, coming down to the floor and then grab those knees, hug them in towards your chest and give them a little shake from side to side. So here, we're gonna take this band off the knees. So take that band off the knees, and then we're gonna bring it and place it up around your wrists. So as we work here, our arms are not quite as strong as our legs, so we might not see the band moving and stretching just as much, but it doesn't mean that you're not working really hard. We're going to push the back of your wrists out into that band. Relax the shoulders away from your ears and feel that as you're pushing into the band, you're trying to squeeze from the back of the shoulder joint. Keep length in through the back of the neck, drop your ribs in and we're coming up to double tabletop position. So breathe out, engage your core, one leg comes on up and then bring the second leg up to join. Working hard here to keep your rib cage in, 
your belly nice and tight. We're going to press lightly into that band. Breathe in, and when you breathe out, take those arms overhead. Breathing in, those arms come back on up again. So the harder you push into the band, the harder you're going to work through your rotator cuff and around the back of the shoulder joint. We get a little into the deltoid here as well. And we're working hard through our abdominals. Working hard around the rib cage to keep it engaged, to keep that spine neutral. And working down through those low abdominals down into the pelvis, down to the pelvic floor. As we keep your pelvis still, we keep that lumbar spine neutral. Our legs are staying nice and still as well. Can you add a bit more into the band as you take your final two? As you take your final one, and then those arms are going to stay still for now. Press that into the band as hard as you can manage. And from double tabletop, you're going to breathe in. And as you breathe out, extend one leg out and away from you. Breathe in to bring that leg back to double tabletop. And breathe out to extend through the other side. So here we want to try and find our nice long, lean, strong muscles. So as your leg goes away from you, squeeze the quad, squeeze the calf, point the toe. Make that the longest leg that you can create. Are your hands still pressing out into the back of the band, firing up around the back of the shoulder joint, firing up that rotator cuff? We're taking another four. Smooth and steady, take another three. Draw your belly button down to your spine. Keep the pelvis nice and neutral. And we're taking just one more. Bring that leg back on up. And then we're going to take one knee down. One foot down, sorry. The other foot comes down. And we're going to keep your heels lifted. We've got our heels lifted. And our toes are touching down onto the mat. Shoulders relaxed away from your ears and find length in the back of the neck. Lower the hands a little bit further. And again, press out into the band with the back of those shoulders. We're going to take a bent knee fall out here. Breathing in, engage the core. On your breath out, you draw the core in tighter. And you let one knee float out to the side. Breathe in to come back on in and swap over to your other side. So the aim of the game here is to keep the pelvis still and steady. To keep your core nice and tight. And nothing moves except that leg, and it's moving from the hip joint. The pelvis stays still, the waist stays nice and tight. If that's hard enough, you're going to stick here. Otherwise, we're going to bring both legs back up to double tabletop, keep your toes glued together, find that $100 between those toes again, and then you're going to float one knee out to the side. Keeping the ribs in, keeping the belly tight. We're going to start to alternate the arm into this exercise as well. So as your left knee goes to the left, your right hand is going to try and push into the band, come back to the middle. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. And we're taking this for just another four. Another three. Taking another two. You've got this. Pull your belly button right in towards your spine. Keep the core nice and tight. Take your final one. You're going to hold this one here. Bring those hands around the back of the head. Your band is there, it's supporting your head, supporting your neck. Breathe in and breathe out. Curl up into your abdominal curl. Breathe in to come back. Breathe out, come up into that Pilates sit up. So as you work towards the end of your class, keep that activity in your abdominals. Make this harder by maybe stretching your feet and your knees a little bit further away from you. And from here, let's take another three. We're going to hold the last one up there. And then your last one, come up, hold up. Lifting through the chest, chin is lightly off the chest. Ribs are in, belly is in. Your knees are gonna stretch a bit further away from you. Your toes are lifted. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and bring the feet down. Bring the arms down and then give those knees a nice big twist from side to side. Take those knees over to the right, look towards the left elbow. Change it over to the other side. Stretching through the underarm, the obliques, the back of the hip. And come back to the middle. From here, let's reach those hands to the sky. Roll on up and join me in a sit at the top. 
Well done, guys. You made it through your resistance band workout. I can tell you, I can definitely feel it. Maybe you'll be feeling it tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me here. For more like this, subscribe to Well and Good, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.